Patriot Prime Reviews is a channel for adult collectors and may not be suitable for children under 13 years of age. Viewer discretion is advised. Hey, what's going on guys? Patriot Prime here once again with another video. But before I get started with the subject of this video, I want to give a huge shout out to my sponsor, ToyHacks.com. ToyHacks is a company that provides upgrade decals for modern Transformer figures along with reproduction decals for the vintage ones. While visiting Toy Hacks, make sure and check out the Toy Hacks Armory to see their line of Transformers weaponry in multiple colors and toy stages for awesome display backdrops. Each purchase from Toy Hacks earns you RoboSense that you can use for future purchases. You can check your balance anytime in your cart. Toy Hacks is a company run by collectors for collectors, so make sure and check out ToyHacks.com and tell them Patriot Prime sent you. Now, on to the review. The featured bot in this video is the brand new Transformers Legacy Core Class Iguanas. Now, this figure right here is the one I was most looking forward to out of Wave 1. I am a huge Pretenders fan. Granted, the original G1 toys weren't the greatest Transformer figures, but I've really grown to appreciate the concept behind them. And I love the Decepticon Pretenders. They're all these cool monsters, while the Autobot Pretenders were mostly just humans in giant fat spacesuits. So I am really happy that Hasbro is attempting to bring the Pretenders back. Now, taking a quick look at the packaging, we've got Iguanas right here in uh, Hasbro's new tamper-proof packaging. Transformers here on the side, Transformers Legacy, some great artwork of Iguanas in motorcycle mode. Back of the packaging features Iguanas in robot mode, motorcycle mode once again, and Transforms in 15 steps. We've got some artwork right here featuring Megatron, Dragstrip, Iguanas, Skywarp, and I've always missed him. There's Kickback right there. This side of the box has some great artwork of Iguanas shooting eye lasers. You don't see that happen often. I think the last figure I saw with eye lasers was Dinobot. But enough about the packaging. Let's get this pretender opened up out of his shell and check him out. And welcome to Patriot Prime Reviews. <laughs> Now, once you get Iguanas all opened up and out of his packaging, you'll see he does come with a sheet of instructions that, as usual, is very well illustrated and easy to follow. And right here on the back of the instructions is the QR code you can scan for Iguanas' bio. Normally this is on the box, but for the core class, it's on the instructions. And just for a moment, I never really look at the artwork on the instructions, but look at that. That looks awesome. Iguanas also comes with his weapon, which is a piece of that mega sword or whatever it is that the core class figures come with. I don't have the other two open to do the combined mode just yet, but stay tuned to this channel. This thing actually looks really good. Great paint applications. I believe this is all purple, but it's got gold paint and that looks like flames. It's kind of like flames coming there along the side. So I dig it. That thing looks really, really good. And then, of course, we've got Iguanas himself. And oh my God, does this figure look amazing. I am just blown away by this guy. I mean, the paint applications are spot on to the original. Let me bring his pretender shell in. This is the G1 original. Now, look at that. Hasbro had a Pretender fan and Iguanas fan design that core class figure. That is spot on. The details, the belt, the scales, the head. I am really impressed. Hasbro, my God, you knocked it out of the park. And if you look on the back of Iguanas here, he's got the wheels. That's an homage to the inner robot. The wheels could store on his back if you didn't use him as a weapon for the shell. So I think that's really cool how they combine the shell with the 
<laughs> in her bot, these just went tumbling off the table to create this fantastic looking core class figure. I mean, I love this guy. Taking a closer look at the paint applications and the sculpted details, look at the head. You can see the scales, the yellow eyes, the teeth. I do wish the teeth were painted though. Details there on the chest plate, the belt. And I wanna see something, bring in the, the belt is exactly the same as G1. Oh my gosh, Hasbro, you are just hitting me with those nostalgia waves. I mean, this is just an amazing looking figure. I can't get over it. it. Even has the tail on the back. I love this. Great job. I mean, he's got some waffling there on the back of the legs and the arms, but man, you're not going to see this when you have him displayed. This is just awesome. I, I can't get over how good this figure looks. Now let's get into articulation with the head. It's on a ball joint and can look up and down slightly and really doesn't have a lot of articulation because of the sculpting, but man, that's enough. He can kind of look to at you. Got tongue tied, I'm so excited with this figure. He can kind of look at you over his shoulder there. Arms out, in, you can't do a complete 360 because of the wheels on his back, but they are on a ball joint. You got the bicep bend right there. It's a ball joint as well. There's also a rotation, thanks to the ball joint. There is a waist rotation. Very tight though. Legs can go back, they can go forward. I just did that in reverse. Man, I'm all screwed up tonight, it's late. Legs can go forward, they can go back, they can go out, they can go in. They're on a ball joint as well at the hip. The knees on a ball joint so they can bend back and forth. And he does have ankle tilt. The ankles or the feet are on ball joints as well. So lots of articulation for this figure. And then of course we've got his weapon. You can put the weapon in his hand like so. So you've got that going on or flip it around. Like I said, those look like flames. So it kind of looks like he's shooting that way. And what's really cool, this little weapon is blast effect compatible. So you've got that going on. I love it. This is a great little figure. Now let's get into transformation. Now the first thing you want to do is remove Iguanus' weapon and then take his backpack, flip this down and bring it up over his head. There's going to be a soft click right here and then just fold this down and it's going to tab into these little slots there on the chest. So there you have the front of the vehicle. Now you've got these sections back here. You won't bring these down and around. Now the key is the one on the smaller arm is the front wheel. The one on the longer arm is the back. Go ahead and bring the robot arms up. And then for the legs, what you're gonna do is do a 180 at the knees and then a 180 with the feet. Now, go ahead and bring the legs, or excuse me, you wanna rotate at the waist. I forget that every time for some reason. So that turns his tail into a seat and I dig that. Now, what you're gonna do is bend the knees. So they're now facing backwards. And what you wanna do is there are these tabs on the outside or the inside of the knees now that are gonna tab into the tail. Plus, you have these ports on his feet that are gonna plug into the wheels. And it can be difficult because these little tail tabs can be a pain to get in. But man, once they get in, they are secured. There's one. Go ahead and peg the wheel in right there. Now for this one, I'm gonna go ahead and peg the wheel into the foot first, and now get that peg lined up. And this one, there we go. Those can sometimes be a pain, but they went in perfect that time. Now for the arms, you wanna bring the arms down and rotate the fist around so it's underneath the hand. See how it has a larger hole right there? that is going to line up to the hole on the wheel. Now, there's these little spaces right here in the arms and you got this little space right here. So you want to make sure the arm goes over that. Let's see, go ahead and get the fist turned around just right. Get the arm to tab over that little tab, tab over that tab right there. And then just peg the fist into the wheel. Do that with the other side. 
and there we go. There is Iguanus in his motorcycle mode. And yeah, that is not the greatest vehicle mode. You're using a lot of imagination with that. I mean, that doesn't even look like a Cybertronian mode. That is a robot folded up, holding on to some wheels with his hands and feet. But the way I look at this is Iguanus isn't really trying to disguise himself. It's kind of like the Transmetal Beast Wars. This is his transportation mode. So you look at it like that, it's not too bad. Great paint applications on the motorcycle as well. You've seen everything in robot mode already, except for the red here on the front, along with the white for the windshield and the Decepticon logo right there. I really dig this. This is so cool. But, man, that never happens. I was about to say, he does not stand real good, but if you get him just right, there you go. And, man, he's, he's freewheeling. He wrecks, but, I mean, really good wheel rotation there. I dig it. Now, you can take his weapon, peg it here on top, which doesn't look the greatest. I guess you put a blast effect in there to help a little bit, but I am not a fan of that look whatsoever. I wish he had a port somewhere on the back, just like the G1 toy, but I guess you could take this. Well, you can't even plug it into his hand. I mean, the only option is up here on top. So we'll put that on there one more time. See if I can get him to stand. Won't do it now. Take that off, see if it helps. And we'll bring in G1 Iguanas in vehicle mode. And seeing these two side by side, Legacy knocks G1 out of the park with his robot mode because G1 had fake wheels. I mean, those aren't even wheels, they can't roll. This guy, he can roll all day. But you can see the similarities and the love letter to the Generation 1 toy. And I totally applaud Hasbro for that. I think that's awesome. I mean, they did a great job with this figure and I couldn't be happier. Now he won't stand at all. So there you go, guys. There is Core Class Iguanus in vehicle mode. And now for some quick size comparisons, here is Transformers Legacy Core Class Iguanus with Generation 1 Iguanas, and just take a moment to drink that in. Beast Wars Crocodile Megatron, Kingdom Core Class Megatron, and Titans Return Bludgeon. Iguanas is a vast improvement, though these little guys at least could do the Pretender gimmick. I don't know if you guys can tell or not, but I absolutely love this figure. Great paint applications, great sculpted details, great articulation. I mean, this figure has it all. Yes, his vehicle mode is a little weak, but man, it's a vast improvement over the original. So there you go, guys. Transformers Legacy Core Class Iguanas. So, does a Transformers Legacy Core Class Iguanas belong in your collection? Well, if you're an old school G1-er like me, absolutely. I love this figure. I think Hasbro knocked it out of the park with this guy. I love how they blended the G1 Pretender shell with the inner robot. He just looks so cool. I mean, my only complaint with the figure, I wish he was bigger. Deluxe size would have been perfect. So, Maybe it's a start. Maybe we'll start seeing more pretenders because there are some awesome characters that Hasbro could really pull from if they continue doing this. I mean, I love this. This is definitely one of the best core class figures in my collection and a nice reimagining of one of my favorite G1 toys. Now, guys, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe, and don't forget to click that bell icon to get notified when I upload new videos. Also, if you're in any position to help out the channel, I do offer channel memberships here on YouTube, and I want to give a huge shout out to all my current channel members because it's support like yours that helps keep this channel growing. Once again, guys, this is Patriot Prime signing out. Oh, yeah, this Friday, keep your eye on this channel right here. I'm going to do a live stream where you're going to have the chance of winning 
your own iguanas. Due to me forgetting I had one on pre-order, I have two, and I'm going to give one away to a lucky subscriber. So, once again, this is Patriot Prime, signing out. Hoo-ah!